Okay, so here's the design we're looking at today. This is a two-stage op-amp gain block I designed for use with an Electrap microphone, but also for general, I need a little bit of gain kind of applications. So the first stage here is a gain of 11. Second stage is gain of 4.7. Those multiply, so we get a total gain out of 51.7. So in this case, we have 10 millivolts coming in from the uh, Electrap microphone and about half a volt coming out, which uh, is suitable for the line level inputs that I have. I have the first stage biased to 150 millivolts because this is a single supply 3.3 volt system. So this signal coming in, it can't swing negative, so I have to lift it above the uh, above ground. So in this case, we're expecting about 10 millivolts peak to peak, and I've lifted it at 150 millivolts. So that gives us about 75 millivolts of swing either way. And this also gives a output quiescent voltage of 1.65 volts, which is right in the middle of our 3.3 volt power supply. So we go through an AC coupling stage to the second uh, the second amp block, and it's biased to 351 millivolts, which also gives it, after the multiplication from the gain factor, 1.65 volts quiescent. So this should provide an adequate amount of range for the application I'm using it in. So we'll flip over to the uh, board I designed for it. Very simple little board. Um, it works pretty well, but I think if I were to go back and do it again, I would probably add a capacitor to the uh, the power input and maybe make the, uh, the gain resistors uh, pots. So I have half of that voltage divider that forms the gain network uh, as a uh, little micro pot, maybe one sitting right here, another one sitting right here, just so I could change the gain of the stages for, for other applications, because right now the only way to change it is to uh, change the resistor values, which for an application that I'm using it in is perfectly fine, because I don't really need variable gain. I designed this to uh, insert inside a lav mic uh, belt pack that I don't have the head end for. It's an RF belt pack. Um, but I got it really cheap, and it has a, a decent-ish little lav mic. In fact, I'm talking into it right now. So I designed this to go inside the uh, inside the little belt pack. I'll cover that in a future video and give it a line out. So basically, I can have a little battery-powered preamp for this microphone, so that I can just plug it into my PC and go record. And it works fine, as as you can hear, because I'm talking into it right now. It's probably not the highest quality thing in the world. I think I got it off eBay for about eight bucks, but it's decent enough. The op amp I'm using in this is a LMV358. It's a low voltage rail to rail output op amp, and it runs from uh, 2.7 to 5 volts. So this works perfectly fine with the battery power application I'm using it in, and it uh, has a really low current draw, about 210 microamps. So it'll work fine in this application, and indeed it does. So in the next segment, we'll go through uh, building up one of these boards, and then uh, after that, we'll go into uh, testing it on the bench, and you can see how it performs. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out, and it's uh, pretty low noise and seems to uh, be perfectly adequate for what I needed it for. Okay, so I'm at the bench here. I've got the uh, preamp module hooked up to this little uh, test jig. I've got my uh, cheesy little function generator here generating one kilohertz signal. It's going through a 200 to 1 attenuator 
because this thing is really noisy at the uh, lowest lowest output range. So I'm generating a 2 volt signal, putting it through a 200 to 1 attenuator and getting about 10 millivolts uh, peak to peak out here where I have a probe plugged in. And that's feeding into the input of the amp. I have the other probe, the scope, plugged into the output. And uh, on the scope, I have averaging turned on because the uh, the test setup is not exactly too quiet and this is also fairly down in the weeds of the oscilloscope range uh, but uh, with the uh, with averaging it cleans it up nicely and you can see the input signal is uh, reading fairly noisy but the output signal has basically no noise that I can see so that's uh, that's good after a gain factor of around 50 so the amplifier is uh, performing pretty well with low noise. There are a couple little uh, sort of notches on the on the scope here, but these I believe are coming actually from the uh, signal generator, not from uh, not from the amplifier. It does look a bit like crossover distortion, but it's not in my amplifier as far as I can tell. So if I dial up the frequency a little bit, we can see the, the sort of fall off. So I'll try uh, upper end of the audio range at 15 kilohertz. Clear our mat our metrics, and uh, yeah, we're still getting about the same uh, about the same output level, 10 millivolts, 10 and a half millivolts in, 520 millivolts out. So that's very good. And if I uh, wind it up a bit more, to say 65 kilohertz, we well, can see we're right around the uh, the 3 dB down point there. So this is good to yeah, 50 kilohertz, easy. 60 kilohertz, something like that. Pretty, uh, pretty decent. Definitely uh, more than adequate for anything audio related. If you like this video and want to help support the creation of more content like this, check out my app in the Google Play Store. It's called Conversion Alchemy, and it's a calculator I always wanted to have in my pocket. With Conversion Alchemy, you can do arithmetic directly on over 170 different units using a simple and intuitive interface with high precision and lots of conveniences. Forget how many decimal places to move when going from Pico to Micro? Sick of reducing fractions on paper or using multiple apps with different features? Want something that has a nice advanced plain language interface but doesn't require a cloud service backend? Check out Conversion Alchemy on the Google Play Store. The QR code in the video or the link in the description will take you over there right now. And as always, if you'd like to support the channel without spending any money, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks!